illustration by Tracy Heaton slash USA Today, and Getty Images illustration by Tracy Heaton slash USA Today, and Getty Images Editor's Note, Part 3 of a six-part USA Today series examining America's obesity epidemic. Campaigns to cut fat and then sugar from America's diet didn't make a dent in the obesity epidemic. Nor did keto or paleo, Atkins, exercise plans or a TV reality show. Kevin Hall knows, because he has studied all of them at the National Institutes of Health, where he has worked for 19 years. Hall considers it his mission to help people live healthier lives through food. He has seen study participants lose weight on virtually every type of diet, regardless of the mix of fats, carbs, sugars or protein. So a few years ago, when he decided to test the latest diet in amino. 1. Ultra-processed food, he expected to see much of the same. In a study, two groups of 10 people each were fed either mainly chef prepared whole foods for two weeks or mainly ultra-processed foods dashed the snack items, cereals and pre-made meals that make up about half of the typical American diet. Then they switched. Both were offered the same number of calories and balance of fats, sugars, carbs, protein and salt. Both reported feeling equally full and equally satisfied with their food options. Despite decades fighting America's obesity epidemic, it's only gotten worse. To try to understand why, USA Today spoke with more than 50 experts for this six-part series, which explores emerging science and evolving attitudes toward excess weight. When they followed the mostly whole food diet for two weeks, the volunteers lost about two pounds each. On the highly processed meal plan, the same people unintentionally consumed about 500 calories more a day on average, gaining both fat and two pounds each in just two weeks. By changing people's food environment, you can change how much they're eating by a huge amount without them choosing, Paul Sai. Highly processed foods are fast and filling. They are designed to taste good and be hard to stop eating. They can sit for months on store shelves. And they are cheap. At the end of a long day, with a couple of kids at home and working parents, Paul said, frozen pizza looks pretty good. Ultra processed foods have a lot of positive attributes that are underappreciated. What's not to like? He quipped. It's not the tastiness or lack of fiber that makes people eat more ultra-processed food than they need, according to Dr. David Ludwig, an endocrinologist and researcher at Boston Children's Hospital.